Hi, welcome to the Eastern Township School Board series of videos. In this module, we're going to look at general guidelines while using Zoom, part of the Introduction to Technology course. Now, the first thing is you should always use your full name when you're in the Zoom call. The reason is, as a teacher, we can see who you are and we don't have to deal with Galaxy 6A or something similar. So if you've already logged in and you didn't put your name, you can always change that. Now, when you go above someone's name, whether it's yours or somebody else's, you'll see up here those three ellipsis dots. If you click here, or alternatively, if you click down on the bottom left corner, you will get the rename function. You can also um, hide yourself and start your video and mute, so on and so forth, but you can rename yourself, which will bring up this little window, which allows you to rename yourself so that we are always aware of who you are. Now the second thing is we do not recommend using a phone for the classes as we use a lot of files, we use documents, videos, we do require on-screen feedback. We also allow you to work on files and we will give you files in Zoom. So you need to be able to open them, work on your computer, send us back files. However, if you do not have a choice and you use a telephone, please use it horizontally. The other thing to do is to always keep your microphone muted unless the classes requires you not to have it if you're having conversation. Uh, but otherwise it prevents uh, unpleasant background noises. Um, I teach classes where you have kids screaming in the back, you've got television, you've got people on the phone. So please mute your microphone if you have unwanted noise in the background. Please do not stop your video. We need to see you as a teacher. I need to see you. I need to know that you're there, that you understand what I'm saying. So we need to be able to see you. You can purchase a little camera if you don't have one. Cameras are very cheap these days. You can grab one that you can plug into your computer and that will help you a lot and it will help us a lot. Uh, we always suggest to use Zoom in full screen mode. Uh, that way you can see more of the screen and it also prevents you from going in the background and, and being on doing something else while we're teaching. Lastly, to ask a question, there are three ways to go about it. The one that I personally enjoy the most is I will ask you to put your hand up on the video call or just wave your hand by the camera so that we can see motion and we can answer you. The second thing would be to use a reaction. If you use a reaction, that'll also get our attention. And probably the best way to do it, though, is using the chat feature. Just send us a private chat. We'll be able to answer you. These are the general guidelines as far as Zoom is concerned.